a new tunnel to connect New York and New Jersey train lines and ease commuting? The Gateway Project, a plan to build just that type of structure for close to $30 billion, has stopped and stalled for years. But now it seems there may be a new ally for its construction in the form of President Trump. Thank you all very much. Leading a discussion with New York and New Jersey officials that included Senators Chuck Schumer and Cory Booker, as well as Governors Andrew Cuomo and Chris Christie, President Trump seemed enthusiastic for the program. But despite the meeting, the White House has not yet committed to funding. Governor Cuomo later stated, quote, while the White House meeting was productive, it was inconclusive, end quote. So will this project ever get off the ground? Joining me with the latest is Philip K. Howard, an expert on the Gateway Tunnel Project and chairman of The Common Good, a nonprofit organization whose goal is to simplify government. Welcome to the program. Nice to be with you. All right. So we have all of these power players, movers and shakers together in one room. Who is the person who has to pull the trigger and say, OK, because it seems like we've been chewing over this for decades. Well, President Trump proposes a budget mm -hmm. and the budget needs to include money for this vital project for the New York area, which is 10 percent of the nation's economy. Mm -hmm. um, and Congress then has to agree and put that, that, that money in the budget. In the budget that President Trump presented earlier this year, there was zero money mm -hmm. for this project, or indeed for the Federal Transit Administration, which funds rail and transit projects. Um, so he uh, recently said that he would agree to a 50-50 split with the states on this project, which is what the states were asking for. But he still has to propose it, and Congress still has to agree with it. So there's still a long way to go with this, unfortunately. Well, there are decisions to be made. The decisions can be made in a matter of weeks. But it requires leadership, mm -hmm. committed leadership, to spend public money to do this vital project. All right. Well, perhaps the leadership uh, might be moved if they knew why this was so important. And of course, leadership is always moved by constituents and their concerns. That's right. Outside pressure. Yes, outside pressure. So what makes the Gateway Tunnel so crucial? Why is this a non-doable non project? Right. There are two rail tunnels into Manhattan that serve Amtrak and New Jersey Transit. 100,000 people come in on these rails every day and 100,000 go out. Those tunnels were over 100 years old and they were badly damaged by Superstorm Sandy and sometimes they closed down, sometimes for days, when people can't because they're so fragile and mm -hmm. decrepit. So they need to be, there need to be two new, new tunnels built uh, so that we don't have 25 mile gridlock, which is what happens whenever they, they close down. And then once the two new tunnels are built, then those two old tunnels can get rehabilitated and then the commute will become much quicker because we'll have double the capacity. All right. And again, I just want to sort of explain to people about this uh, this Northeast Direct um, route that all these trains are taking, because it's not just commuting trains that are going through, like New Jersey Transit. Right. There's Amtrak. There's I mean, this is an. Yeah, it's really it's 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 amazing. We're living on the infrastructure of our great great grandparents. These tunnels were built 105 years ago. There's a bridge in between Newark and the tunnel. It's called the Portal Bridge, which was also built about 110 years ago. The bridge, which is based on basically Civil War technology, this old iron and wood bridge, sometimes catches on fire. The bridge has to open up to let barges come through on, mm -hmm. on the river. And then sometimes it doesn't close properly and it takes hours. So people are sitting in trains for hours on Amtrak trying to you know, get to Washington or get to New York while they try to line up the rails again with this bridge that ought to be in a museum. Mm -hmm. That bridge has to be replaced. And uh, that's part of this project, too. It's, it, it, you can't continue to have the greatest city in the world when people get stuck in 100-year-old infrastructure on an unpredictable but somewhat frequent basis. Well, where do you see the, um, the will now to put f government funding back into infrastructure the way we did 100 years ago, as you were saying? Is there enough political will behind that? If you want to invest in a modern economy, you, I mean, if you want to have a modern economy, you have to invest in it. And 
And so far, we haven't had the political will to do that. Uh, Congressman Freelingheisen, who's a New Jersey Republican, is chairman of the House Appropriations Committee, and he very skillfully, uh, in the proposed budget from the House, put in $900 million to get started on the portal bridge, that ancient 100-year-old bridge, replacing that right now. And if Congress would pass that, the work would get started to fix that bridge, literally, and, you know, almost immediately. So the fact that we've had, what was it, these five gentlemen together in the room, the two senators, the two governors, and the president, this is a positive step, yes or no? Oh, yes. It's progress. Now they have to act on it. Listen, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to come down and join us and talk to us um, about some of the common sense and, of course, hopefully the Gateway Tunnel, which we will hopefully see sometime in the future. Thanks so much, Jenna. Thank you.